Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 2, Lesson 4, Constructors, Exercise Number 1. We have a, what do you think this program does? Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Looks like we're creating a new painter object like we have been. Ooh, this time we're putting something inside of the parentheses. Hmm. That's very interesting. Then we have, while my painter can move, we're going to paint white and move. What do I think this does? I think these four items in here are parameters and they make up something called a constructor. I think I remember some documentation that had the constructor for this broken down like this. Hmm. So this is how I can use that X location, Y location, direction, and paint list. I think this is the X coordinate, this is the Y coordinate, this is direction, how much paint we have left. That means I think our bright is going to go 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, appear here, and then paint a line straight south. Let's see if I'm right, kids. That's interesting. I was right about the X, but the Y came down here because we had one, two, three spots already taken up. That looks like this constructor here created a sprite on the edge of the sidewalk and painted down. Very interesting. Key takeaways for this lesson, kids, is really understanding what this parameterized constructor is. And that really simply is a constructor that has parameters or arguments to be passed along. And if you remember, an actual parameter are the values that we pass to the constructor. And they must be of the same type in the formal parameter list of the constructor signature. We're going to dive a little more into the anatomy of actually how we write this parameterized constructor in the next couple of lessons. Hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit about what a constructor is. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.